Are you looking to find a microphone to improve the sound of your next YouTube video? Hey, that's great. But the next question is gonna be, hey, well, what kind of microphone do I get? In this video, we're gonna give you the lowdown on the two most popular microphones used on YouTube videos. The lavalier microphone and the shotgun microphone. We're gonna give you the good, the bad, and the ugly about both those types of microphones. And then you can decide for yourself which microphone is gonna be right for you? All right, let's go. Hey there, my name is Tim and on this channel we do travel, adventure and tech videos. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome. Hope you like it here, check it out, stay a while, kick off your shoes. And if you've been here before, hey, it's great to see you again. If you're serious about making great content on YouTube and in particular content with great sound, then you should seriously consider investing in an external microphone. Most cameras come with their own inbuilt microphone, which is okay, but they are usually omnidirectional and the sound pickup is not always great. Like, check this out for example. All right, right now we are recording on the Canon 200D, just using the inbuilt microphone. Today we're gonna to cover the lav mic, or also called the lavalier mic, and the shotgun microphone. You can normally pick them up for under $100, but the improvements to your sound can actually be out of sight. So first of all, we're gonna test out the lav mic. To connect the lav mic to your DSLR camera, you'll need a TRS to TRRS adapter. Simply connect it to the 3.5 mil jack on your lav mic, and then connect the adapter to the mic input on your camera. Choose the manual setting on your camera, press the menu button. On the touch screen, choose shooting settings. If sound recording is set to auto, it means the camera is using its inbuilt mic. Change the setting to manual to enable the external microphone. It's also a good idea to turn on the wind filter and attenuator to reduce wind noise and sound distortion. One of the best things about lavalier microphones is that you can put them close to the speaker's mouth. So this is about one handspan uh, beneath my mouth right now. And the sound is always picked up nice and pure and nice and clear. The only problem is this is a wide lav mic. So right now the cable is only about one meter long, which means I'm pretty close to the camera, probably about two feet away. But the sound, you gotta, you gotta admit, is rather good. <laughs> so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to move the camera further away from myself, the speaker, and we're going to attach an extension lead to the lavalier microphone. And I'm sitting around about two meters away from the camera right now. The sound pickup is still really great because what I've done right now is I've attached that six meter cable between myself and the camera, which hopefully you can't see too much of in this shot because it's one hell of a mess of spaghetti on the floor right now. But the sound quality is really, really good. And when you're filming a YouTube videos, you can crop the shot so you don't actually see any cord or any cable. And with a lav mic, the sound is still gonna to be top quality. I'm currently sitting around about three meters away this time from the camera. And once again, the sound quality is fantastic. It can be a little bit tricky with the uh, wired lav mics. You can buy wireless ones as well too, by the way, but they are normally a lot more expensive. One little tip I will give you right now is so I don't have this kind of pinched look here on the collar of the t-shirt, what I've done is I've actually thrown the Smart Lav cable from my uh, Rode Smart Lav Plus um, Lav mic. I put it over my shoulder, so it's actually going over the over the shoulder of my shirt, and now it's kind of, it's kind of running like a, a, attached to the uh, extended cable, and then running along the floor. So by doing that, it can look like a little bit more professional when you're filming. It sort of shows that you put a bit more time and effort and preparation into trying to get the best possible shot and the best possible sound, I should say in that shot as you possibly can. Okay, so right now it's time to test the shotgun mic and we're using the Rode VideoMic Go. I'm located about one meter away from the, uh, from the camera and from the microphone and the sound pickup from this unidirectional microphone is actually pretty good in these kind of circumstances. Let's check it out from about two meters away. 
The sound quality should still be pretty good because I'm sitting right in front of the microphone. If I happen to say move one side or the other, over here, or maybe even over here where I'm actually out of that range of the cardioid uh, pickup, you, probably, you might have heard the sound drop a little bit. One thing I will mention about this, which I really like, is there's no cords or cables on the floor between me and the camera. So that's definitely a bonus. But what you make up for in that convenience, you probably lose a little bit in the overall sound quality. I'm currently about three meters away from the camera and from the road video mic go. I'm right in front, so the sound pickup is okay, but you would definitely notice a difference between this location and the two that we um, explored earlier. Okay, now we're gonna test out both these types of microphones in outdoor settings. And we're gonna start off with the lav mic. All right, so we have relocated ourselves outside. It's a spectacular day here in South Australia. Hey, every day is a spectacular day here in South Australia. And we're currently using the lav microphone. We're in front of this amazing canola field because spring has just sprung here, but we're right next to a rather busy road. And this is the sound pickup that you're hearing right now of my voice through the Smart Lav Lavely microphone. So it's pretty good. Although it's omnidirectional, you probably just picked up that car that was buzz buzzing past. I'm sure he was going too fast. Let's test it out now with the longer extension lead and see how it sounds with the Lavely mic here in this outdoor setting. So the sound pickup is still pretty good. Just like I did inside before, I've actually put the cable from the, uh, the lav mic over my shoulder here, so I'm not getting that same pull effect. And the sound is actually pretty good. With a lav mic, one of the downsides is that when a mic being under your clothes like this, you can sometimes hear noising, noise on the mic if you say ruffle the shirt or the piece of clothing. So you might hear a little bit of noise in the pickup. It's a good mic because you can move around and I can move from this side to this side or even around here. And my mic level, hello, still there. Um, my mic level will still be around about the same, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit of a, uh, a dramatic walk along the fence line here, looking like I'm some like farmer here across this beautiful bronze land. Okay. We'll see you in a second when we test out the shotgun mic. Okay, so right now we're recording using the shotgun microphone, which is attached to the cold shoe on top of the camera. It's a situation where it's a little bit windy, might be some wind pickup you'll be hearing right now. But I'm standing right in front of the microphone, probably around about just over a meter away. Um, so the sound should be rather good. But if I move a little bit to one side, you're gonna notice this is where the unidirectional part of the microphone is not such a great thing. So I'll just move here a bit to the left, like earlier inside. And the sound pickup is like not so great, right? You can hear, still hear something. But you're probably hearing a lot of background noise like that truck to just cruise past the road. I'm sure he knew I was filming. Okay, now if I try from this side over here as well, you probably hear the sound is getting picked up, but not quite as great as it was before. I'm still directly in front of the microphone, and the sound is okay, but it's obviously deteriorated because I've been further away from the camera. Okay, so the shotgun microphone, especially from a distance, is not exactly perfect, but it's still a microphone that I really, really like to use when it comes to vlogging videos. And the number one reason is because I can do this. I can move around and I can talk to the camera. I don't have to worry about wires or tripping over them in particular, right? But for me, having this uh, set up here with a shotgun mic as I walk around here on this beautiful day means I can look, I can look around here and see these beautiful canola fields behind me or I can take my chances and go across this road. I can show you a great view of one of the gazillion vineyards that are here in South Australia. Of course, South Australia is Australia's number one location when it comes to wine too, folks. Don't forget that. So this is, this is my reasons for like really liking the shotgun microphone for vlogging circumstances. Like the lav mic has many, many great benefits and especially in more of a, a seated kind of situation, like maybe in a studio or maybe in a room where you're not moving around too much. But the freedom that you get from using a shotgun mic like this in this kind of environment is pretty hard to beat. All right, so what did you think? Are you a fan of the lav mic or maybe the shotgun microphone? Let me know in the comments section down below. 
if you got some value out of this video today, that is absolutely awesome. Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd love to hear from you. It'd also be great if you could hit that like button over there or the subscribe button too, if you're that way inclined. That would be totally choice. If you wanna learn more about shotgun microphones, I have made a great little video on the Rode VideoMic Go, which is what I used in this presentation, and also one on the lavalier mic I used as well. That's just down there somewhere as well. Hey, thanks for watching. I really enjoyed your company, and until next time, I'll see you later.